Hello and welcome to One CNC. This is Patrick from One CNC West, and I'd like to take the next couple of moments to demonstrate some of the benefits that One CNC will provide for you. First off, right off the bat, you'll notice that One CNC is set up in a very user-friendly, easy-to-use, logical format. For example, on the left-hand side of the screen, all your geometry tools. On the right-hand side of the screen, all your manufacturing and verification tools. At the top part of the screen, you have your standard Windows functions display functions, selection, manipulation, solid and surface functions. Also note too that one CNC provides tools to help you learn the software very fast. For example, take your cursor, hover over an icon and you'll see a tooltip. Along with that tooltip, you'll have a prompt in the lower middle of the screen. So this prompt, along with the tooltip, will help you learn the software very, very fast. Another thing to point out is that one CNC is not going to bury you under a whole cascade of menus. For example, if I want to create a point, I select point and here's the submenu. If I want to go back home, I select home and we can start all over again. Another thing to show you is that one CNC is completely user configurable. For example, if I head up here to file and then properties, we go over here to colors for example, and let's say I want to change the background gradient from blue and white to a gray and white. Simply click OK and there you go. How about keyboard hotkeys? Not a problem. Just head up here to view and then customize. Select keyboard. Select the category that you want to work with and then assign your hotkey. It's as simple as that. Now if you'd like to work with multiple viewports, not a problem. Just take your cursor, take it to the top of the screen and select the layout style. From within there, select any viewport configuration and go to work. To work within a viewport, simply click within that viewport. You can also adjust the size of the viewports as well. Another thing to point out is that one CNC is a multiple document application. Let me explain what this means. You can work on several part files all at the same time. For example, if I head up here to Window and select Cascade, you can see that I'm actually working on three separate part files all at the same time while only having one version of one CNC running. Another really nice feature is that I can go in, select geometry from one part file, go up here to edit, copy to clipboard, select another part file, go back up to edit, and then paste from clipboard. It's a very fast and effective way to combine geometry. One CNC also provides for a set of predefined views. Simply take your cursor, move it to the bottom of the screen and select view. From within the dialog box, select whatever view you'd like to take a look at and click. Notice that when you select a view, One CNC dynamically rotates the drawing to that view. We also provide for a powerful suite of construction plane tools. This is where you can create and modify construction planes. There's also a powerful suite of tools for modifying how we look at solids and surfaces. For example, click on Transparent and your model becomes transparent. There's also some unique tools in here as well, like the Curvature tool. This will shade all the curved surfaces one color and all the flat surfaces another color. We also have a very powerful cross-sectioning tool. This is where you can dynamically cross-section your models at any level or you can type in a value if you'd like. What's also unique to this is that you can use these cross-sectional views for blueprints or you can click Add to Screen and one CNC will quickly create geometry at that cross-section. Very, very powerful. Now to wrap things up in regards to the user interface, if we come over on the right-hand side of the screen, we have some flyouts. Now all of these flyout menus are dockable. For example, if we take a look at the history flyout, this is like an advanced do and undo. You also have a recent flyout. And this shows you the recent part files that have been loaded and saved within one CNC. If you want to load a part, simply click on the thumbnail and one CNC will load that. Notice also that within recent, it shows you the active part file. There's also a one CNC today flyout. This is where you can do a lot of things. For example, new file, open document, open samples. You can also get your one CNC updates here. Take a look at the one CNC forum, go online, Take a look at our newsletter, tutorials, videos, or access help. So the user interface within one CNC is very user friendly, very easy to use, and set up in a very logical fashion. Now let's take a look at the geometry side of one CNC. Creating and manipulating geometry within one CNC is also very easy and straightforward. For example, if I want to create a line, take my cursor to the left side of the screen, select line, and from the submenu, select how I want to create that line. All I have to do now is follow the prompts at the bottom of the screen, and there's our line. 
Now creating points and arcs are just as easy. For example, if I want to create some fillets here in these three areas, move over to the left side of the screen, select arc, from the submenu select fillet, follow the prompts, select both of our entities. At that point we just type in the radius that we want to use and click OK. Furthermore, this can be repeated as many times as you'd like. When you're finished, simply hit the right hand mouse button. We also have a whole suite of powerful trim tools. These are also very easy to use. And the procedure is the same. Take your cursor to the left side of the screen, select trim, from the submenu select how you'd like to trim, follow the prompts and make your trim. Let's take a look at modifying geometry. To do that, simply select the geometry that you'd like to modify, come down to the bottom of the screen, select modify, from within the dialog box, make your changes, click OK and then you're finished. Let's further modify this geometry by selecting it and then moving it. I'm going to select the move command and then tell one CNC how I'd like to move that. Let's place that corner up at X0, Y0, Z0. That looks great. Now it's just as easy to create dimensions as well. All you have to do is come over to the left side of the screen, select dimension and how you'd like to create those dimensions. Once you do that, it's just a matter of following through. Notice too that within one CNC you also have unlimited undo and redo. In fact, you can undo all the way back to a blank screen if you'd like to. In the lower right hand corner of the screen we have a powerful suite of verification tools. Select how you'd like to verify the geometry, follow the prompt, click on the geometry and then one CNC will provide all the data. If you'd like to use layers, not a problem. One CNC has a great set of layer tools. Just move over to the right hand side of the screen and select layer. If you want to display a layer, just click on the eye. If you want to turn a layer off, just click on the eye again. Note also that you can select geometry by using layers as well. Just take your cursor and click on that little box right next to the layer name. At that point, you can do anything you'd like to with the geometry. If you'd like to dock your layers flyout or any flyout, all you do is come up and grab the thumbtack. At that point, your flyout's docked. Along with being very user friendly and easy to use, there are some additional versatile tools that are going to be provided by one CNC that you might not expect to see. For example, I'm going to head up to the top of the screen, select File and then Trace Image. Trace Image will take any bitmap and quickly convert that into lines and arcs. This is available within all one CNC systems. Once the geometry is on the screen, then it's very easy to apply toolpath to that. In this example, all I'm doing is just applying an engraving operation. Now what if you need to convert CNC code to geometry? That's also not a problem. Going to head up to the top of the screen, again we'll select file, now we'll select import, and then backplot. All we have to do now is find our CNC program, double click on that, and then click OK. One CNC then takes the CNC code and converts that to lines and arcs. There's lots of uses for that. Now let's take a look at solids and surfaces. 